Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about Raro Rose's Junior vs. Arichi Lang. Now, again, if we look at this matchup, I, I really like it. Some people don't really care for it, but I think it's a pretty fun one. Raro 9 and 1, 4 and 1 in his last five fights. The one loss, as we know, is against Christian Rodriguez. Not a bad guy to lose to, even though my boy, Juicy J, was able to finish him. Pretty freaking awesome, if I must say so myself. But he's a minus 700 favorite. Do I think he should be that high? I don't, honestly. Minus 700 crazy. Just because, you know, even when he fought Ricky Tercios, I think that's how he used to say his last name, he made a couple mistakes. I mean, he finished him in round two pretty decisively, but he was also in a rear naked choke himself. That fight was much closer than it should have been. Now, if you look over at the stats, I really like the UFC stats, how they lay it out. I really, really like it. So I'm gonna be referencing a lot of that in in this video. So in all the videos, in all the breakdowns, so UFC 306. So again, you look at this matchup, UFC fight night cam in here. I'm above, which was pretty recent to be honest, but the, the striking's not what we're talking about. You know, Rubber Roses was four of seven on his takedowns, 57%. Both had a submission attempt. Raul had one reversal. He had five minutes and 49 seconds of control time, but Ricky had 52. And honestly, like I said, Ricky had Raul Roses in a rear naked choke. He just didn't pull it off, which is pretty wild, if you ask me, for the caliber that Raul Roses is on, uh, you know, as a grappler. So you look at the first round. So Ricky gets a, gets a takedown, or. Uh, uh, Gets is, goes for a submission. My bad. Raul Rosas is two for four, you know, and Ricky is fifty of sixty-one of that first round with his strikes. That's why, you know, he, again he had a one submission attempt, fifty-two seconds, three forty for uh, Raul Rosas Jr. on a reversal, and then the second round, uh, Raul Rosas had two. He was two of three, sixty-six percent in one submission attempt, two minutes and nine seconds. Again, Raru Roses in that second round was exactly what I thought he was going to do. The problem, like I, like I said, was he was in a very bad position with a guy that is decent, not great, in Ricky Tercios. He's more exciting. And I, I really liked Roses in that fight because Ricky in his fight before that had a lot of output, but it was very, very uh, inaccurate. He was terribly inaccurate. He missed so much. Had a lot of volume, but, I mean, all of us can go out there and just start throwing stuff. If you're not connecting, if you're not even close, really, it doesn't really make sense. So, again, you know, Ricky Tercios had him in a, it literally had him in a rear naked choke. You know, if, if, you, if you look at it, um, now, again, if you look right here, you see exactly what I'm talking about. Ricky Tercios has a clear rear naked choke. Clear. I mean, he literally has it. Unbelievable. It, it, again, that's that's the part that is worrisome. That is the part that gets my heart racing a little bit. You know, Arichi Lang isn't great. I mean, let's let's be honest here. You know, Arichi Ar 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 Lang is not great. He's 3-3-0-1 three, three, oh, in his UFC career. Pretty sure I'm correct on that. I looked at it a little earlier. He's 3 3 0 oh, 1. He has been finished. He also has a finish. And Eamon Zahavi was able to finish him with a left hook very, very quickly in their matchup, which was kind of surprising. I know Zahavi's a decent striker. I know the background. I get it. His brother is an incredible coach. But that was a little bit surprising, personally. Now, um,. Again, you, you look over at the stats, and he's fought some really, really good guys. Eamon Zahabi, record, it doesn't really show how decent he is. Cody Durden, he lost. He lost a decision, though. He had some decent, decent moments, actually, significant strikes-wise. Outlanded him by five. Uh, went to war with Jeff Molina, lost a decision there as well. Maybe even a split decision. But, again, striking defense is 47. Takedown defense is 58. Uh, takedown accuracy is 46. He averages about a takedown and a half um, every, you know, for every fight. 
Strikes absorb per minute six, a little over six. Accuracy is 50, and he lands 5.31 for a 15 minute fight. So, again, he th there is a lot to like by the Mongolian murderer, but again, he, who is he beating? Cameron Ellis, not great. Jay Perron, decent. I believe Perron, Perron actually dropped him. Actually, they both fought Jay Perrin, so that's a little bit interesting. Lost as a hobby. Munoz is not in the UFC anymore. Wasn't really that competitive of a matchup. We gotta be real. So again, what does he offer? You know, that, that's the thing in this matchup. What does a Richie Lang offer? I think what a Richie Lang offers is like Munoz took him down four times. Went for three submission attempts. You know, Jay Perrin, I went for, got three take, had three takedowns on him. Our reaching link had one. He's had f uh, six total in his UFC career, but he's also had five, eight, uh, 12 against him. He's been taken down 12 times. Now, the interesting, or the thing that should be notable is um, uh, Muniz was able, he had four and a half min minutes of control time. Okay. Four and a half minutes. Jay Perrin had about six minutes of control time, so there's ten minutes total. Um, Cody Durden had uh, five and a half minutes, so that's about, what, 15, 16 and a half, 16 minutes probably, 15 and a half, somewhere around there. Jeff Molina had 43 seconds, so I guess that one doesn't really matter, but in three fights, three fights. Now, you know, submission-wise, for Richie Lang, I don't. He hasn't been. He hasn't been submitted in the UFC. He's, he has been submitted three times. Now, if you watch these fights, he definitely like Muni Muno Johnny Munoz, who is a grappler as well, probably more decorated than Raul Rosas Jr. Wasn't able to get the get get the submission. Obviously, he lost by decision. Munoz did, but he did was able to show some holes. Now, where I really really like. Uh, Robert Roses Jr. He has eight finishes of his nine wins. Six of them obviously are by submission. He has six first round finishes with four coming by submission. The X factor for me in this fight for Robert Roses Jr. is how much he pushes the pace. How, what was the word? How much uh, he goes for it. God, what's the word? I can't freaking think of it. How much, uh, I don't know, he, he pushed the pace. And, and I really, really think that is very, very good for him in this one. Now, Raul Rosas on the feet is, I think, a little bit liable. But as long as he can cover that distance, and I think he can because of the wrestling threat. I really, really like uh, Raul Rosas Jr. by second round submission. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Put your comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Peace.